Hello, this is Hellbent, and welcome to this tutorial on how to run programs using AutoHotKey. Um, this is going to be a three-part mini-series. In this first part, I'm going to show you how to use a hotkey to run a program. In the second tutorial, I am going to show you how to use a hotkey, another hotkey, to close that program. And in the last one, I'm going to show you how to combine both of those operations into a single hotkey. So with that out of the way, let's dive into it. Now we're going to be running this program a few times. So the first thing I want to do is I want to type in pound and then single instance. And beside that, comma and force. And the reason why I do this, I'll show you in just a second. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a hotkey that I can press it anytime I want while the script is running to exit it. And the reason why I add this in is because a lot of the scripts that I do have my cursor being taken over. And if my if I can't move my cursor, if my cursor is being controlled by the pro the script, then I need to have a way of exiting it really quickly because obviously I can't go down and close the program that way. So I'm going to use Control plus X as my hotkey, and this is just going to exit the application. Okay, so with the single instance force, now I'm going to show, like I said, I'm going to show you because I don't usually show this um, why I do this. So I'm going to comment it out so it's not active right now. I'm going to save this and I'm going to run it. So if I look down here, I can see that the script is now running. If I go to run it again, it's going to give me this dialog box. And this gets old really quickly. So to get rid of that, I am just going to reactivate that, save the changes, and now I can run it over and over and over and over, and I don't get that dialog box. So <clears throat> that's why I add that in. Okay, so for this, I'm going to run two different programs using two different hotkeys. So we'll just get the hotkey set up. So I'm going to use the second row, or I guess it's the one, two, three, four, fourth row down, or third row up. But I'm, anyways, I'm going to use Control plus. No, you know what? I'm going to do something different. Let's use NumberPad because NumberPad's a convenient way of actually using this kind of program. So let's type in NumberPad. NumberPad, and we'll do one. NumberPad one is our first hotkey. Now, as somebody who's actually had a job where I have to enter a lot of data, like numerical data, I can tell you that when you're doing numbers, the number pad is incredibly easy to use. So if we want, we don't want to have this taking up that function. We don't want to have it so that way we can't use the number pad still. So what we're going to do is in front of this number pad, we're going to put the shift of six, which means control. So I have to hit control plus number pad one to run this hotkey. So that way I can still use the normal operation of my number pad. So that's the first one. And then we'll do the same thing for the number pad two. So number pad oh and I forgot to put in the number number pad 2 so our second hot first hotkey is number pad 1 second hotkey is number pad 2 and there we go now we need two programs to run so what I'm going to do is I've already decided which two programs I want to use because they load up really quickly so you know how a lot of programs it takes like you know 10 seconds 20 seconds 30 seconds for it to actually load up so I wanted to pick two programs that I knew would load up really quickly so I got Internet Explorer I'm just gonna open up this and I'm gonna find its executable and here we go so this is the if I want to run it this is the button I would click and I'm going to right click on that. I'm going to go to its properties and then to its security. And this object name, I'm going to copy this path. I'm going to make sure I get it all. Control C that. And I'm going to put in here a run, then a comma, and then my target, which was that file that we did. After that, I'm going to drop down line just to keep it neat. And I'm going to put in a return. Okay, and that was, I wanted that one to be my second, first one, but whatever. We'll do this one as the, this one. So we need run, comma, and now we need our target. And in this case, I am going to use paint.net, which is luckily in the same folder. So I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to find its executable. 
which is right here and I'm gonna right click on that go to its properties its security and I'm gonna copy its object name control C that and I can minimize that now so I'm gonna paste that next to my run command drop down line and put in a return okay everything looks good so we will save this and we will run it so now if I hit so like I said the normal I can use the normal number pad like if I this is the normal number pad one this normal number pad two but if I hit control plus number pad one it should open up paint.net and there we go and I'm going to now if I do number pad control plus number pad two it should open up Internet Explorer and there we go okay so that's the end of this part uh, be sure to come back for the next one where we're, I'm going to show you how to actually close programs using the hotkey and uh, if you'd like to see more of these kind of tutorials be sure to hit that like button your supports needed and I'll see you on the next one